So, this is where we left off. All right, so let's start adding the other widgets, which are these guys. All right, so we'll be using this reference again. So, first thing is uh, box layout right there. All right, hmm. I wonder if we could just use one box layout for these guys. Yeah, they die, but the idea is dumb. All right, so this is where we left off last time. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll start adding more stuff, which is these guys. So we'll be using this reference, all right? So what's happening here is we have a box layout right there, all right? We have the another box layout right here. Then this box layout has a whole bunch of widgets in it, all right? So let's do that go way down right there all right create a box layout obviously and hmm, doesn't need an id but uh all right for now let's create another box layout all right this box layout by the way is going to be this one all right then this one so Box layout ID is going to be the uh, product details. Product details, yeah, that should work. And the orientation for this one is vertical. Oh my god. Like that. And then. Uh huh. Size hint. Size hint X and hmm. Let's make it take point eight for now. Create another one. An ID of preview and orientation. Oh, well, I don't think it matters since it's going to have one text input, but. Anyway, vertical size hint x take the rest of it, all right? So we'll deal with this later. Right now we want to deal with this one. So box layout that that now let's start adding or or is that that so we have a box layout right here. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven widgets. Let's create those. Mm -mm -mm. Could just make them flat buttons. Uh, yeah. All right. So box layout. ID is going to be product labels. And product labels has a flip button. Now we're going to have to change the background. All right, so flat background, our uh, flat button text is was it code quantity product code and discount. So quantity copy you. Paste there, product code, uh, paste it again, discount, paste it again, discount percentage, paste it again. And after percentage, we have VAT, paste it again, and what do we have now? Price and product total, so price, paste it again, 
product total. All right. So now we start size hinting these guys because right now I'd say they're fifty fifty. Ah, huh. oops. They are uh, the text colors are white and the background is white, so we can't see anything. Let's change that. So, huh. uh, this is the one. So canvas dot before and target the color color right there an rgba color of uh, 0 0.06 0 0.45 0 0.45 0 0.1 then create a rectangle with that color this rectangle size is going to be the size of our widget Rectangle's position is going to be the position of our widget. That is that. Let's try run this again. And we get our products, uh, items right here. All right. So, let's control, control the size. Hint Y. None, of course. The height. The height for this one is going to be 40. 40 should work. All right, so that is that. Next thing is next. Okay, so. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's resize these guys. All right, so. Old quantity. Let's give it a size hint x of uh, 0.1. We'll change this if it doesn't work. Size hint x and product code is pretty big, so about 0.3. Now we have 4. Uh, size hint again and 0.2. Mm, so size hint x. Point one says hint x point one says hint x again and point one point one this time again. Hmm. I think that should be good. Let's see, quantity pro, yeah, that looks good. All right, so 